I'm going to show you in this video how to set up a to cart event tagging with parameters on our website with Google Tag Manager for Google Analytics 4. So let's go. I will set up the tag on this website with this Google Tag Manager for this GA4 account. First of all, I will go to Google Tag Manager preview mode to see which information we can get from our website. Enter here your website URL and click on connect. Tag assistant connected. Now let's add to cart a product. Click on add to cart. Now go back to tag assistant tab and click on continue. If I go to left side menu and scroll down, we can see here an add to cart event is fired. If I click on that, then you can see event name is add to cart. If I go to data layer, then we also found the information of the product that we have just added to cart now we will know which information we should pass with add to cart event to j4 account so let's see that this is google analytics 4 document for recommended event if i select here add to cart then we will see it says to pass currency value items parameters with add to cart event so let's create these parameters as variable so let's go to google tag manager and go to variables then we can see we have those parameters already created like i have shown you in the previous video so i'm not going to repeat that here again now i will create a trigger so go to trigger section and take a new trigger click on trigger configuration and choose from here custom event and even name will be add to cart like we have got in the preview mode so go to preview mode again and copy this add to cart and paste here and give the trigger a name i am going to name it add to cart then click save now i will create the tag so go to tag section take a new tag click on tag configuration and take from here google analytics j4 event paste here the measurement id i have created a variable for j4 measurement id so paste that and the event name will be add to cart like we have got in the preview mode now we will configure the event parameters so go to event parameters and click on add parameter we should add here three parameters so write here the parameter name copy it and paste here currency and then copy value paste here value and then copy items and paste here items the value of currency will be the variable that i have created in the previous video currency and then value and then items okay now go to triggering click on trigger section and the trigger will be add to cart that we have created and give the tag a name i'm going to name it ga4 add to cart then click on save okay our tag is ready now we should check if it's working properly so i will go to preview again and along with i will go to ga4 account debug view so go to your admin section then either from data display you can go to debug view or from overview you can also go to debug view now go to preview mode paste here your website url and click on connect debugger is connected now let's add to cart a product click on add to cart now i will go to tag assistant tab and click on continue we can see here our j4 add to cart tag is fired so it's working here now we should see also on our j4 account we can see here an event is passed from our website to our j4 account that is the add to cart if i click on add to cart then you will find those parameters like currency and then value and everything so we can say our tag is working properly so that's it in this video if you have any question or suggestion feel free to write down in the comment box i will reply that as much as possible and if you need my service then i'm a professional freelancer working on fiverr and also working on upwork i'm providing my services on these marketplaces you can place an order here otherwise you can contact me on this whatsapp number or on this gmail and if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel so see you in another video until then goodbye thank you so much